Hey friends, welcome back to the channel, Creatively Sandra. Today we have a pin haul. I went to Box Lunch to spend my Box Lunch cash, Box Lunch money, and um, also stopped at the Hot Topic because when I head out to my Box Lunch, which is 25 minutes away, I take advantage of anything else in that mall. So I've got two sets of pins and a couple of other little things. I did do some gift shopping, so those are not gonna be in the video. But the ones I picked up at Box Lunch were the uh, Pixar Bicycle Blind Box Pins. Let's get a better view a little bit. Uh, not so great, but let me tell you what they are. So these are bikes made after the Pixar movies. The one I'm really interested in is they have one of Russell um, from Up. It looks like they have a Munsters Inc., maybe a Stitch. Um... I'm not sure the other ones. One looks like May May from um, Turning Red. One is Woody from Toy Story. Like I said, Monsters Inc. I'm not sure about this. Uh, oh, I think it's Coco. It looks like it has a skull on the um, the back. Each of the bikes, well, th most of the bikes have a flag and those on the back. So we're gonna open those. And then these I've seen people open and they're gorgeous. These are called Princess Cottage Core Blind Box Enamel Pin. That doesn't help you. Um, so these ones are stained glass, I believe, and they have Belle, Mulan, Tiana, Ariel, Pocahontas, and Cinderella. So Tiana is the one I want the most of this set. I only have three boxes of each because I didn't necessarily want to collect the whole sets of either one of these. Let me show you my other two items first. So I wanted to pick up some of the elemental pins. I only ended up getting one when I saw them in person, which is what I wanted to do to see which ones I like. I do still want to get weighed, but I got Ember. So Ember is the first item. So she's pretty cute. And these are, um, it's not stained glass, but you can see like the fire part on her, there's a shimmer to it. So that's pretty fun. I did see the movie, loved it. It's a great movie, great lessons in there as well. Um, so definitely recommend that. And I got this little pop keychain because I needed a little bit to, you know, with the box lunch money, when you reach 30, you get $15 or you can spend your $15 one on $30 worth of product, et cetera, to get that $30 to be half price. So I need a little more to get, I think, to the $60 mark so that I could use two of them. And so I bought this little 3D or Doug with Toys um, pop keychain. Let's go ahead and open it. I haven't decided if I'm going to, some of these, I've taken the keychain out and then just displayed the little figure. Because you can kind of just, sorry for the noise, unscrew it from their head. Um, this one's pretty darn cute because he's got all his little toys in his mouth there. That's adorable. Oh, and the little puppy coming up to him. I thought that was another toy, but it is three toys in his mouth. So there's like a fish, a pig, and a duck, and then one of the little puppies. And these are based on the um, the up shorts on Disney+. Plus. So that's very cute. We'll see. I'll either turn him into one of the more detailed keychains. He even has a little lobster clasp, so he could go on something existing like a zipper pull. That's kind of fun. So very, very cute. And so the prices on these, um, this was $12.90 for the pin. This was actually $8.90 for the um, pop keychain. And then the pins were all, ooh, the Hot Topic ones were $9.90. And those were buy one, get one at 30% off. So I bought a fourth pin is for a gift. And then with these, they were $10.90, but remember I got, um, was able to use my box lunch money. Now hot cash is a thing for this week. So let's dive into the bikes first. All right, so again, really just one I'm hoping for, but a couple that I wouldn't be upset about and would probably keep as well. This one is... It's Coco. We are so not focused today. Let's put this on the board. And they have two pin backs. So they'll sit nicely. So let me show you this up close. Okay, so 
You can tell it's Coco by the sugar skulls and they're in his basket. There is, um, I'm not sure if that's like a little basket. It looks like a popcorn bucket, but I think it's also um, little skulls in there, but it's so tiny, it's hard to tell. Kind of looks like caramel popcorn, but I'm assuming, you know, why would you have popcorn in cocoa or on a bike? I think we really got to do something about the camera because we're not getting good. I'm going to insert some close-up photos of these as well because you're not getting a good view today. I apologize for that. Next one is... Ah! It's Coco again! Okay, this is not a good start. <laughs> that was not one of the ones I wanted. I do know some folks that collect Coco, so hopefully um, they'll be interested or we will have... Well, there's no point in me showing you that again. Some other you know, be able to trade for the one I do want. And let's see what's in this last one. Again, we could get, I said Stitch, but that's not right because that's not Pixar. So I'm trying to figure out what this last one is and I'm not sure I'll be able to tell you unless it's in this envelope and hopefully it's not in this envelope. So, mm. Monsters Inc. up. Toy Story, Turning Red, Coco, those are represented, and something else. Let's see. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> okay, this is all I wanted, and we've got it. And it is um, Russell's bike, so it's got, I'll tell you about it. You can't see it in that blurry photo. Um, but he's got the little trees that are on his badge are in the center of the wheels and on the flag on the back of the bike. And then in his basket, I see his trumpet rope and then maybe either a compass or his little candy bar. Let's go. Okay, so that is Russell's bike. Oh, I'm so happy. That didn't start out well, but this is the only one I wanted. So that's definitely a keeper and we'll use these others as traders. All right, let's see what luck the princesses give us. So no dupes would be great because I have a feeling I'm gonna open these and then want the rest because they are awfully pretty. So just to show you a little bit again, six princesses are possible. We've only got three bags. I haven't decided, well, I guess it'll decide if I get more based on if I can trade for the one I want or if it's in these. <gasps> That's very good luck. <laughs> the first one is the one I want. It is Tiana. And you can see the stained glass. Do we have a white piece of paper here? Let me put this behind it and we'll see a little better. So you see the stained glass element. Well, you could just see right through it there, but these are gorgeous and they're a nice size. Oops, I just lost a pin back there. Let me show you up close. So it looks like just flowers. She's got some mushrooms for some reason and then a firefly. So it doesn't look exactly like Ray. It's over here. So it just looks like you've stuck a random bug on there, kinda but she's so pretty. Not nice on the backer board of cork, but maybe we'll have to do something different on display. Okay, so let's see what other ones we've got now that we've got. So this is pretty good. I bought six pins with the goal of getting two, <laughs> and we've got those, so I'm not mad about that, and of course we'll have traders. Ah, another Tiana. Okay, somebody else collecting like me. I'm not a mad about that dupe. Although, like I said, it would have been fun to get some different ones. And then last one. And I picked these up myself, you know. Uh, well, actually, at Hot Topic, they only had four. Something just fell out of that. Um, they only had four of them there. So there wasn't a whole lot to choose. I got three out of the four. Maybe there was five, but... Um, somebody else went home with some dupes because if they were all Tiana's left... Oh, and Mulan. Oh, I think that would have been the second one I wanted because I did mention to you guys that I have a little bit of a Mulan collection started. Okay, and there she is. 
All right, so that is it. That's it for today. We've got that, we've got the elemental pin, and we've got Doug. So tell me, are you collecting either of these sets? Have you seen Elemental? What did you think? And what was your favorite? That's it for today, guys. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you on the next one.